One method for solving a system of equations algebraically is called substitution. Let's take a look at an example. Solve the following system of equations. Verify the solution. The first equation is 3x plus 5y plus 24 is equal to 0. The second equation is 2x plus 2y is equal to negative 8. To use substitution, we need to isolate one of the variables. We can choose any variable, so it's usually a good idea to take a minute and choose one that is simple to solve for and it'll produce a simple equation. If we decide to solve for the first x, we will eventually need to divide 5 by 3 and 24 by 3. Note that we're ignoring signs in this analysis. Dividing 5 by 3 will give us a fraction, so I'm going to look at the other variables. Similarly, if we solve for the first y, we'll end up dividing 3 by 5 and 24 by 5 both of which are fractions. This one isn't looking easy either. To solve for the second x, we'll need to divide 2 by 2 and 8 by 2. Both of these will give integers. This x looks like a good choice. To solve for the second y, we'll need to divide 2 by 2 and 8 by 2. This will also result in integers, so this y makes for a good choice too. Let's solve for this y. Please note that this is a different solution strategy than the one used in Lesson 8.2. Subtract 2x from both sides of the equation to isolate the term containing y. Divide both sides by 2 to isolate y. Now we know y equals negative 4 minus x. Equation 1 includes a y, so we're going to replace this y with the equivalent expression negative 4 minus x. Here's the equation after the substitution. Notice that the new equation has only a single variable, x. This means we can solve for x. Multiply the 5 through the brackets. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. 5 times negative x is negative 5x. This simplifies to negative 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. Subtract 4 from both sides to isolate the term containing x and divide both sides by negative 2 to isolate x. Now we know that x is equal to 2. To determine the value of y, we can substitute the x value into any equation that includes both x and y. There are lots to choose from, so let's try to pick a simple one. This equation looks very simple, so let's use it. Substitute 2 for x. So the y value is negative 6. The solution to the system is x equals 2 and y equals negative 6. Alternatively, we can represent this solution as the ordered pair 2, negative 6. We can substitute these values into the original equations to verify our solution. Let's start with the left side of equation 1. Substitute 2 for x and negative 6 for y. This evaluates to 0. The right side of equation 1 is 0. The left side equals the right side, so the solution works for equation 1. Let's check equation 2. We'll start with the left side. Substitute 2 for x and negative 6 for y. This evaluates to negative 8. The right side of equation 2 is negative 8. The left side equals the right side, so our solution works with equation 2. The values x equals 2 and y equals negative 6 satisfy both equations of the system, so they are a solution to the system.